In this session, we're going to cover one of the most important parts of CMEX, the review outline. This is one of the most important parts of the system because it will allow you to do some QA checks on your survey before you go live or even after. To access the review outline, I'm going to click on the build and edit text at the top from the build and edit tool to access the navigation menu, and I'm going to select review outline. This is also available from the launchpad by clicking on the navigation menu here or from within the server dashboard I can click on review outline. These will all take you to the same place. The review outline is a one page scrolling document of your entire survey. This includes any questions, any question settings that you might have updated, logic, quotas, text, anything that's been programmed. Internally, what we do as part of the QA process is compare your usually Word document or Excel file sometimes depending on which method the questionnaire is written in and compare that side by side to the review outline. This will allow you to see if you can find any inconsistencies or things that might have been added that might have been omitted in the edits process. So I am now scrolling through this particular survey's review outline. I can see the Q1 is a radio question. If I continue to scroll, I see a logic page and this is just a termination point so if i would just verify that if q1 equals one which is q1 equals one which is male term using this code then on page three i see an invalid setting this is one of the most important parts of this the review outline it will actually provide you with this invalid setting notification when you're reviewing it to know that in this particular case I was trying to set a question but it's not been set, set properly so if I go back to the build and edit tool and review I can just refresh just to make sure I'm looking at the right thing I'll go to logic page 3 so I can go back logic page 3 and I see that my logic block says only if Q1 equals 2 set question and then it's blank. So I, for, I forgot to actually finish the rest of my, my logical operation. And that's why it's an invalid setting. So now I can go here and maybe set it Q2 to just making this this up just so that something appears now if I go back to the review outline and update it I now see that the invalid setting is gone and it's saying set Q2 response by name 1 to 1 so that would be setting Q2 underscore 1 to 1 And as I look at Q2 here as well, I can see that there's skip logic that's in place. I can see that there's a randomization. And then if I continue, I can see that Q3 was not fully built out, so I'd most likely need to go back to that particular question and update it. Same goes for Q4. Uh, Q5 only has one response option, so it probably needs a no. So I can go into the build and edit tool and update that as well. So this particular feature is one of the best value adds to be able to review your survey in every way possible because you've got every single operation that has been programmed in your survey. And if anything's missing, you can go and update it and then come back and refresh to continue to verify as you see fit. Another option that sometimes does show up is uh, in addition to the invalid setting 
that we had in this particular logic block, you might get an error. Uh, it usually is preceded by um, three pound signs or hash symbols. Uh, again, so that it stands out to you, so that you know that you have to double check that particular logic syntax or scenario. The other option you have within the review outline is to review any other languages or locales that might have been set up. So in theory, if I had programmed the survey also in Portuguese, I can go in, select the Portuguese version of the survey and review it in that language. The other option I have is to click on preview survey. Clicking this option will give you a cleaner version of the review outline, which removes all of the logic and some of the formatting. So it's a cleaner version, which really only has the questions that would appear. So here's Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5. None of the other information shows up, such as the default text, which appears at the end of the review outline. So if I click on this button again to show the codebook, uh, that's also a secondary name for the review online is codebook. So if you ever heard hear that term, those terms are interchangeable. So if I go back here, here at the bottom is all the variables that have been set up. Most of these are all the system variables created on every single survey by default. And then down here are sample sources and any default text. So this is a very good way to verify text as well too. So if somebody comes back to you and says Q3, the text is missing or it needs to be updated. Instead of having to go into the build and edit tool, I can come here and verify that. So this is a very, very useful tool. And that is a tour of the review outline.